Every semester, courses are automatically created within my classes based on information from Gullnet. That means that even if you have already taught a similar course before, a new course will automatically appear for the upcoming semester. This video tip will discuss options for you to import content from a previous semester's course, an uncombined course section from the same semester, or from a development course into the course created for your upcoming semester. To import course content, you will start from the course for the new semester. From the home page, you can click on Import Existing Content, or on the course navigation, you can go to Settings and click Import Course Content. Either option will take you to the Import Content page. Under the Content Type drop down menu, select Copy a Canvas Course. From the Select a Course drop down menu, Select the course that contains the desired content you wish to import. You can also enter keywords to search for a course. Under content, there are two options. You may select all content, which will import everything from the old course into the new course, or you can select specific content, which will only import anything from the old course that you choose. With many faculty using Zoom, which creates section-specific calendar items, IDD recommends selecting specific content and choosing what content you want to import in order to skip adding the old Zoom meetings to your new course. Selecting specific content is also useful if you want to import a few items from multiple different courses, such as from a course template, a development course, and content from a previous credit bearing course. We'll come back and look at all content later. Let's start with select specific content. When you have selected to import specific content, click the import button and under current jobs, you will see the current course copy waiting for your selection. Click select content and you will receive categories of options that you can import into your course. The content options you have to select from will vary based on the content being used in your course. You can see that I have different options to select from between my Salisbury Zoo course and my Buster Keaton course. The content option you have to select from will vary based on the content being used in the course you are importing from. You will want to check the course settings option to bring over the course menu items and the homepage settings you have used in your previous course. Check the syllabus body option if you would like to bring over the content that you have created in the syllabus tool in my classes. If you are using the template provided by ID&D, the syllabus tool by default is set to be the home page, so you will want to select both course settings and the syllabus body to bring all of this content over as is. Now I'm showing content with Zoom meetings scheduled in the course. So if you have created Zoom meetings in your course, you will want to skip importing the calendar events or expand the list to only select certain calendar events. Many other items where you may have more than one piece of content, such as modules, assignments, quizzes, question banks, or pages, will provide both a checkbox to bring over all items in a category, so all nine modules, all 26 assignments, and all 13 quizzes, or you can click the arrow next to the content type and it expands downwards so that you see a list of all content in that content type. For example, I can now see all nine modules that I would be importing from this course. If I only want to import some of them, I can uncheck the modules that I do not want to import and only bring over four of the nine modules. When importing modules, relevant content such as pages, assignments, and files added to the module will automatically import with the module content. When importing quizzes from one course to another, ID&D recommends importing question banks associated with those quizzes as well, especially if you are linking to the question bank to randomly pull questions. Otherwise, you may end up importing an empty quiz that cannot find the questions to pull from the question bank. Again, if you have created Zoom meetings in your course, you will want to either skip importing calendar events or expand the list to only select certain calendar events. Otherwise, Zoom sessions from another course will import to the current course calendar and you will need to manually delete them. You may also choose to skip bringing over your announcements if you would like to create new announcements for that specific course, or you can expand to select a specific announcement that is common to many of your courses, such as the welcome announcement. Once again, if you import all announcements, you will need to manually delete or update old or irrelevant announcements after you import the content. 
If you have added an external tool, such as a library guide, you may see the external tool options in your select content menu. Select to bring over any external tools if you want your integrations to work the same way. Likewise, with rubrics and learning outcomes, if you have not developed or linked to these items in your old course, you will not have these options to import into your new course. Once you have made your above selections, click Select Content, and My Classes Canvas will start importing from one section to another. You can go into additional courses to pull other elements if desired. It may take a few minutes for the import process to complete, depending on how much content is being imported. You can navigate away and return to the import screen without interrupting the import process. Once content has finished importing, you may see an issues link if Canvas has detected broken links or missing files or content. You can click on the issues link to expand a list of issues that you can address. If you are not using certain elements, such as learning outcomes, you may be able to ignore this issue or you can update it to match what you need. For missing links, the issues list will link to the page or area in the course that have the missing link. For example, 10 questions are missing from this resource. If I notice that this is a question bank that I do not need to use, I can delete this question bank or ignore this issue. However, if I want to update this page to fix the missing link, I can remove this discussion link or I can update it to point students to the correct discussion. For the purpose of copying course content from one semester to the next, You can also select the All Content option. If you wish to select All Content, press Import, and the process will start running right away. Whether you select to import All Content or specific content, you do also have the option to adjust events and due dates for assignments and to-do list items in your course. To shift dates, you would have to add the beginning date range and ending date range from the previous semester and you will add the date range that you will be changing to for the current or upcoming semester. The Canvas system will attempt to match dates as closely as possible, recognizing, for example, that your first assignment is three days after the beginning date. It will try to make the first assignment in the new semester three days after the new beginning date. It will keep the same days. So if this was a Tuesday assignment in the previous semester, it will make it the closest matching Tuesday in the current semester. However, if your class day is switching, such as a Tuesday-Thursday class moving to a Monday-Wednesday class, you can also click Substitution to substitute days, such as Tuesday for Monday and Thursday for Wednesday. However, if you use the Shift Dates option, ID&D recommends verifying the updated auto-assigned dates as necessary, particularly to accommodate for holiday breaks that the system would not be aware of. Alternatively, you can select to remove all dates if you prefer a workflow where you know that you have verified and updated an assignment once you have added the new due date. Once again, when you have selected your content and due date options, click Import to start running the course import process. Be aware that there is no undo option for importing content. If you import course content into your new course and it overwrites work you have done in your course syllabus page, for example, this content will have to be manually updated to return to the previous state. If you import content from the same course multiple times, you may see duplicate content with a dash one, dash two, or dash three at the end, and that content will need to be manually cleaned up. Also, you can only import content from courses where you are a teacher role into courses where you have a teacher role. If you are looking to import or share a specific resource with another course or colleague, you may be interested in using the send to or copy to features instead of the import content feature. For more information about these options, please see our sending and copying specific course content video tip. Thank you for watching this video tip. For more information about importing content, please visit the following guides.